Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I am back with another planty video. So right now it is actually seven something in the morning. I figured I would have my coffee with you guys and answer the never have I ever planty tag because I have been meaning to film this for literally weeks and I just have not gotten around to it. So my beverage of choice for this video is going to be a lovely cup of coffee and I'm very excited about it. Oh, also, do you guys like my new filming background? I finally have like something going on behind me because it was literally just like a blank wall before and I've been filming in the spare room a lot lately so I finally spruced it up and I was actually gifted these planty prints that you can see behind me and I am in love with them. I'm going to put the information of the Etsy shop down below and I actually have a discount for code for them as well so yeah go check them out if you're interested. Okay so getting into the video I was actually tagged by my friend Sam here on YouTube. Her channel is Sassy and Succulent. I love her videos so much she is so chill and sweet and down to earth and her plant collection is friggin amazing so go check her out i will have her linked down below so yeah thank you for taking me sam so the idea of this is there is a list of planty statements and you have to say whether you have or whether you have not and if you have then you're supposed to take a sip of your beverage in my case my coffee okay i have the questions here on my laptop so that's where i'm reading from so the first one is, never have I ever killed a cactus. And I don't think I have. Like I cannot think of a cactus that I have killed maybe a long time ago when I was like young, but I can't think of a time that I have killed a cactus. So yeah, good for me. <laughs> never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground of a plant nursery. I have never done this either. I don't think I've ever come across a cutting that I wanted on the floor and felt the desire to take it. If I did see a cutting and it was something I really wanted and it was like a piece that had broken off and was chilling, I would probably ask them and be like, yo, like, can I take this? But um, no, I have not done that. Never have I ever spent more than $100 on a plant. Mm-hmm. I have done this multiple times, unfortunately. I'm trying to become more aware and savvy of my plant spending, but um, yes, I have bought a couple of pricier plants. I think the first like really expensive plant that I bought was my Anthurium clarinervium, which I got when I went to Seattle, and that was like, oh God, I don't even wanna say. It's definitely over a hundred dollars though. I really want to grow my collection so I can get more into trading with people because I think that that is really the sustainable route to go once you are really into plants. Never have I ever bought a plant just because it was trending on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've done this a lot because Instagram is a place where I find out and see all these plants and they all look so freaking amazing because it's Instagram and everything looks perfect. So um, yeah, I feel like that's where I found out about a lot of my plants that I really like. I feel like that's normal. I feel like a lot of us find plants that we love because of Instagram. Never have I ever met another plant tuber. No, I have not. Um, it would be really cool if there's someone in my area that made plant videos but I don't, I don't know of anyone. So if you live on Vancouver Island and you also film plant videos, then let me know because that would be cool. Never have I ever neglected a plant and purposely let it die a slow death. <laughs> bad for this you guys what I do is I put them on our deck outside and it's extra sad because I can see them through the window just like slowly dying and I'm like mm, yeah um, I mostly do this when I find a pest on a plant and it's a plant that I don't care enough for to like go through the effort to treat it so I just chuck it out there I think right now out there I have a very sad um, croton which I've had for years and I've never really liked <laughs> So um, he's out there living living his life out. And I also have a gin, 
ginger, ginseng, ginseng bonsai out there as well, which has spider mites and the leaves were just so many and so small, so I could not deal with that. Never have I ever purchased a plant and then later regretted buying it. And what plant is it? Um, I feel like I have definitely done this many times in the past. I'm trying to be a lot more like aware and make sure that I really love a plant before I buy it now. But I did do this recently with my colocasia that I hauled in my May plant haul. Um, because I just, I don't know, like I like it because the leaves are dark, but I just don't, I don't really want that type of plant anymore. Um, like colocasia, alocasia, so yeah, I don't know. Um, it's nice, but I was I, immediately, I like brought it into the vehicle and I was like, why did I buy this? Like, why? Never have I ever bargained with a plant seller on a sale of a plant. Um, I have not done this. However, there was one time on Facebook, well, I guess I tried, yeah. There was one time when I was buying a plant on Facebook Marketplace and I just asked like, hey, are you set on the price or are you taking offers? Um, which I think is reasonable because that's like, I don't know, people always haggle on like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I was just asking and, and then they said, no, they're firm on the price. So I was like, okay, cool. And I paid the price, um, but I would never do this on like, Etsy or like in real life at a store or anything. Never have I ever killed a rare plant. I do not think I've done this. Not the one would because I would probably be pretty devastated. Never have I ever drove over an hour to visit a plant nursery. Yep. Poor Shane, when we go to Vancouver, I just like wanna go to all the nurseries. So we end up driving for like a whole day just going to them all so that I can check them out. <laughs> oh my goodness, but yes, I'm definitely guilty of that. Never have I ever bought a plant that was so large I could barely fit it into my car. Um, I can't think of like a time where I've really struggled. I mean, I've had to like jimmy some of them in, but um, yeah, I think the biggest plant that we have is our fiddle leaf fig. But Shane got that and he put it in his van somehow, I guess. I don't, I don't think I was even there when he bought it. So yeah, that could have been interesting. I don't think I've ever had any problems fitting plants into my car. Never have I ever showered with my plants. No, however, there are some plants that live in my shower. So I shower with them, but I don't bring plants into my shower to just like have a nice time with. Never have I ever went on a no plant buy and it was successful. Um, I have never put myself on a no plant buy. I think I'm just like trying to be aware of my spending and if I don't have the money, then I'm not gonna buy plants. So yeah, it's just like being responsible and budgeting. Never have I ever gotten a plant for free. Um, I feel like I have because people have given me cuttings or gifted me plants. So I don't know if that counts. I've never just like had plants sent to me for free. Um, speaking of that, I'm still salty because I was supposed to work with green spaces um, right before COVID happened. And now there's no way that those plants are gonna be shipped into Canada right now. So maybe in the future, but yeah. Never have I ever bought a plant as a gift for someone else and then decided to keep it for myself instead. Um, let me think about this. No, I don't think I've done that. Never have I ever sold a plant online. No, I haven't. I am thinking about doing a plant purge soon though, and I'm gonna just like post a bunch of plants that I don't really want anymore on, probably just in the Facebook groups or marketplace or whatever. And I have a whole bunch of cuttings, so I will be selling some of those soon, but not shipping, just selling locally. Never have I ever deleted mean or inappropriate comments on YouTube. Um, I think I probably have, but not on my plant videos, um, more so on my other videos. I get a lot of really mean comments on my videos uh, with a bunch of views or like the one of me shaving my head. <laughs> that one gets some interesting comments for sure. Never have I ever bought a plant with the intent to propagate its cuttings for sale. I don't think I've ever bought a plant solely for that intent. But it definitely has crossed my mind when I buy an expensive plant that I know is prolific. Like I can kind of justify it because I'm like, oh, it'll grow fast. And then I can, you know, sell a couple of cuttings and it will kind of make up for me spending a lot on that plant. I don't know. I feel like that's reasonable though. Never have I ever went to a big box store run and not gone to the garden center. I'm sure that I have done this many times in my life before I was really into plants, but nowadays, no, I will always at least like go look at the plants 
and um, then go forward to whatever else I came there for. But most of the time I go there for plants anyway, so. Never have I ever met some of my followers in person. Yes, I have. Um, not like, I don't think my planty followers, but from my Instagram, I have met followers in person, um, which is so cool when people come up and say hi to me. It always makes me so happy. And it's always just like so weird that people know who I am. Um, yeah, I don't know. It blows my mind every single time, but yeah, it's so sweet. However, just a disclaimer, if you do meet me in person, I'm very awkward, so I apologize for that in advance. Okay, that is it for this morning's video. It feels so weird to be filming so early, um, but it's kind of nice to just like chill and have my coffee. It is very rainy out today. I've had to bring out my ring light and everything, so yeah, it's been so gray here lately. So that's it, that's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, please don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out and even better, if you could leave me a comment, I would love to chat with you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.